Okay. Let's level up. We're gonna get gotcha level two. Effective range of headshots is further increased by 40%. Oh, the last level's actually only two. Wow. Well, fuck it then. That's a good thing I didn't spend that other point. I would've been really annoyed. All right. And who knows, maybe that 5% firearm damage will like really stack up for us in the future. I don't think so though. I, I wish that was more like 10 to 5, uh, 10 to 15%. Yeah. Oh, come on. the Death Stalker. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fight it currently. We're, we're we just have so much shit in my inventory that swapping my stuff around is gonna be kind of a pain. But fuck it. Oh jeez, there's other enemies here to support it. Fire in the hole! It on me. Goof. There we go. Fine addition to my collection. Advice, don't get back up. Fuck. Ow. I better find some bandages. Ouchies. Wow, a gold coin. This can go here. These can go here. Oh. This is where the... Wow, okay. <laughs> this is a good bit hidden. Right behind all the bushes.
think there's two in here. Yeah, little fuckers. Back into the void. Oh my god, I killed both of them? Oh shit. I I didn't know that my weapon could do that. Badass. Alright, I'm gonna be stubborn and keep exploring. Although I am a little conflicted. One, I've got low health. Two, my inventory's super filled up. Three, if I turn in this item that we picked up... We might start an event that I can't stop. But, fuck it! Be careful around here. Some monsters tend to lie in ambush under the surface of the water. Not really under the surface of the water, though, from what we've seen. A lot of times they're just kind of chilling out above it. Okay. You can have... Fuck it. You can just have this regular axe, too. Have this axe, have this saber, fuck this tomahawk. Take all these monster items, golly. Mm, gold nuggets. Okay. I think that is everything oh, that we care to sell. Everything else goes in the storage box. All right, take these chicken heads out of here. We're, we're encountering an interesting problem that I hope that the devs will address at some point, but putting stuff away inside of the stash is now like freezing my game and it's kind of been doing that before, but the freezes are getting like a little bit longer, so they feel a little bit worse. If you would finally wash that dust off and I'm not washing nothing off, man, but I will give you these gold nuggets because I forgot to sell them to you. And I will also buy these chicken heads because I I've been using them a bunch. Alright. Heading back to the cult's cave. <sighs> I forgot to give the item to uh, the totem. That wasn't on purpose. I just forgot. Right, let me get my regular gear equipped here. I gotta keep going down. There's a chance that, uh, this particular area isn't where, like, the chapter end is gonna be. So we're gonna, we're gonna check out those cave areas. Dude, this is a lot of keys. When I haven't really been finding that many Maybe saves in this chapter. at some point, you never know. Yeah, the, uh, the chapter end could just be fighting the giant, you know, creature walking around outside the save zone. So in that case, I'd much rather just double check here. And if I had to run back down here, that's okay. This is a good bit way back down. All right. Thanks. 
Stay down! See? It doesn't hurt now! I wasn't expecting a fucking third to just come running around the corner immediately, Jesus. Is that all that was down here? Huh. Oh. Yeah, okay. There's gotta be some kind of reward hiding in the water, right? Maybe not. Maybe <laughs> maybe the devs aren't that cruel to try and hide some super amazing item underneath their foggy ass. Murky water. Oh god. Oh fuck. I'm bleeding. Oh fuck. No. I'm dead. No. I forgot! I forgot! Here I come again. Shit! <laughs> I forgot I don't pause time. <laughs> oh god damn it. Every place we visit has a different Did you remember curse from me? Rain. What do you Let's need? See. Did you notice the half-rotten monsters dwelling in the depths of this putrid bog? They annoy us greatly. Cull their numbers. Reduce them to a pile of minced meat. Give us that pleasure, and your curse shall be lifted. Okay, I need to kill five drowners. I can... I can work with that. Uh, also, take this. Every, this weapon bears signs of heavy use. It must have taken many a life. And it in itself was a life for its owner. Good job finding it. Thanks! Hmm, yes. This item will suffice. With this, we can prepare the ritual. You did well, but there's much more to be done. Right. Time to make whole what is now broken. He who layeth before us shall rise from the clutches of oblivion. Nervous, are you? No need to be. We'll do all the work now. We have the experience. Now watch. Alrighty. It is done. What was once broken is now whole again, so to speak. The sight brings back memories. Go talk with him, huh? I thought they were going to do something. Remember why we put this undead back into one piece. We need his knowledge, and that we shall get by any means necessary. You say one piece, but we got his skull, a hat, and a gun. So... Whoa. Alright, never mind. He is all complete now. <laughs> Jesus. The evils that is the heart of the events cannot even be hurt. I must figure something out. The undead should know something. Yeah, hey there, friend. I walk the earth once more. Yes, for a very specific purpose. Just to think, the first thing I see as I'm brought back from the brink of oblivion is the face of another undead. Yeah. I don't have a cool, like, you know, my skin hasn't all melted off yet or, like, rotten off, so I've got a face. It might not be looking too pretty at this point, though. Mm, I know this magic that keeps you alive. I have seen it before. Working with some malicious souls, eh, partner? <laughs> Watch your back when dealing with them. I, I I do what I can. If there ends up being a choice to take down the totem or not, we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, still, 
If seeing your ugly mug is necessary to walk the earth again, I will take this chance. Hell, I may even kiss ya. <laughs> Good to be back and whole again. Shit, I didn't expect him to be a traitor. What's up? What do you have? Oh, come on. Just ammo? Uh, I'm taking the long ammo. <laughs> if I was far more aggressive about flammable bullets, we, we probably could have had a good stock. Now, it seems like I guess you're supposed to get flammable ammo from your traders rather than looting them because looting them, we haven't gotten shit. Mm. I'll take the flammable ammo because we're just super low on that. Brave yourself. Storm is coming. You won't find somebody with my experience in the whole damn world. What can you tell me about the great evil of the More land? More than anyone else in this place, that's for sure. Yeah, like what? It can't be defeated by any normal means. And trust me, I tried. When we arrived here for the first time, I was the one to gather intel about our new enemy. So at first I tried fire, made a huge one. It just walked right through it, unleashed a tornado of lead, no dice, sulfur, ash, everything. But when I was busy getting nowhere and irritating the giant, my at the time partner found a hint in local legends. Oh yeah? Shame we didn't have the opportunity to test this theory. Something happened that made his faith shatter. His will just snapped like a steel line strained for too long. And then we had our Falling out. Right. Well, do you remember anything from before you died? What? Hoping for a sob story of noble redemption to cry over deeds undone? Forget it. Oh, I, I've heard that you seem like a bad type, so maybe you did something else. I simply can't remember a thing of who I was back then. What I did, or even from where I came from, can't say I'm curious about that. I am who I am now, and I want to keep on living in undeath. My past life certainly wasn't as entertaining. Apart from the whole dismemberment thing. All right, fine. Brave yourself. How do I kill the evil of the land? Not with fire and brimstone, obviously. You talked with him, didn't you? Damn, bastard. As if betraying me wasn't good enough. The priest? Ah, to hell with it. I know a way to get... Oh, the tree! The tree guy! Tree man! Brick. We... I mean, me and the bastard you talked to... were close in our preparations for a dark rite. In fact, there was only one thing remaining left to do. What's that? Here in luck, most ingredients should be where we left them. The only missing element is something bounding to this place and time. And I know what will suffice. What's that? You will take this part. What we need are pieces of the beasts lurking in this area, and a single rare plant. They will be our connection, the link, Ever so bloody and messy. Cultist teeth, a giant leech, Rogaro's tongue, and finally, an angel's halo. Oh! Shit, I just sold all of those! I, <laughs> I might just be able to buy them back! I'm sure you know where you find them all. When you come back with everything, I will commence to write. After that, it's hunting time. All right. Twin can look so innocent when she plays around. Like okay. Ah, oh, she doesn't have any of the stuff that I wanted. Shit. Fine. 
by this. Okay. Let's head back to the cultist cave, because I'm not done with there. I just kind of fucked up. Big time. What I should have done, and what will now be my- will, I'll try and put into my instincts, is, uh, if I fuck up, and I start taking, like, a shitload of damage, I just need to heal. Like... I need to pop a... A potion, and then... A bandage. <laughs> just max my health out, and then fight for my life. Yeah, it's gonna be rough if I ever fuck up again in, like... ...a more serious area, cause that- it, it's hard to, like... ...swap some, you know, swap weapons around sometimes. Out of my sight! Like... ...the knife is good enough against most of the enemies in this area, that, like, I can kill them in a one or two headshots. But sometimes I just miss! Yeah, you know? <laughs> okay, so I need... We've got the cultist teeth. Um... I need a leech. Roguru tongue. Which I might be able to get a leech from here because. Whoa, shit. Out of my sight. Might be able to get a leech from here since we do have the general leeches around. There's one. Now, tragically, there's no dog down here. No Roguru. He didn't give a shit. One and done. Disgusting filth. What's over here? Just an area to sneak through? See these? I would have hidden one of these, but the, the leeches can go in them for sure, right? They, they seem small enough. Woo! Speaking of leeches, Jesus. Right on the mark. Gone with the wind. I gotta remember, I do have the headshot range. Level up now. So I can snipe targets out from real far. All right, parkour time. <gasps> Is this just leading me out the cave? Oh! A chest! Wow, a lot of items here. Here we go. That was the payoff for all of that stuff we just did. Jeez. Who's looking at me? 
Oh, was there a third? Oh, no, it wasn't a third. Alright. Let's get my long ammo moved around. Ooh, shit. They can't reach me, so I'm not worried about them that much. Nitro ammo can go in here. I guess I gotta stash a long ammo. Alright. I think I'm just gonna have to fast travel. The closest place that I remember there being a Rogaru would have been over here at the town bridge. There are some that have been around like the middle area, but I we're not going to be dealing with those. Okay. Teleporting to safe zone. I can also at least unload some of the stuff that we've got in here. Do not stand with the wind, please. Sorry, sorry. I know. I know. I smell ripe. I'm a walking undead. I can sell this. Just keep one of the teeth. Split this. I only need one of each. The rest of these can get stashed away in the laggiest fuck inventory. I will keep... I'll keep a regular potion and a purple potion on me, just in, just in case. There we go. Alright, need a Roguru part. Let's head to town. Stay dead. 